Hello everyone, I'm Scott Schaefer, paleontologist and lecturer in the Geosciences Department at the University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee. I'm here to take you on another exciting virtual field trip to a world-famous locality with the help and expertise of a special guest. But first, to get a grip on the awesome distance and time we need to travel, we need to break out some sophisticated teaching tools. In the long distant past, well before humans evolved, before the mammals inherited the land, sea, and skies, before the dinosaurs that captivate our imaginations even appeared, and even before the dinosaurs' fishy ancestors took their intrepid steps into the first forests to green the earth, there was a creature over 500 million years ago that walked on a damp, sandy ocean shoreline bearing its own weight, perhaps for the very first time in the history of life on Earth. And it might just have taken place right here, captured as a snapshot of this one moment in time at a place now known as Blackberry Hill. Located outside the small town of Mosinee in Marathon County, Wisconsin, Blackberry Hill exposes the remnants of ancient marine shorelines, uncovered by a series of quarries bearing some of the oldest and most intriguing fossils in the state. Over 500 million years ago, during the Cambrian period, this locality was a sandy tidal flat on the coastline of an inland sea of what was then the supercontinent of Laurentia. The site includes numerous spectacularly preserved trace fossils such as trackways and burrows of invertebrates, as well as body fossils of extinct arthropods. Also found here are some of the earliest mass strandings of jellyfish in the fossil record. But to truly appreciate what a stroll on this half a billion year old beach would be like, we've enlisted the help of a special guest and local expert, itinerant paleontologist and author Kenneth Gass. If you've ever walked down one of our coastal beaches, you may have seen the bodies of jellyfish that have washed up and stranded on the shore. Blackberry Hill is the first place to show that jellyfish strandings were taking place as early as the Cambrian period. Jellyfish fossils are normally extremely rare because they're made almost entirely of water. But the mass strandings at Blackberry Hill are abundant and they're some of the oldest strandings in the fossil record. These fossils resembling dirt bike tracks are traces of an organism believed to have been a large, slug-like animal as it moved in and out of the water along the beach. Named Climactic Nites wilsoni, these trackways have also been found in other parts of central and western Wisconsin, as well as Canada, New York, Missouri, and Texas. These examples are of a more typical size. Their maker was probably around four inches wide and a foot in length. The same animal that made these trackways also burrowed in the sand, creating a different trace that scientists have named Climactic Nites young eye. These tiny burrows across the surface are thought to have been made by a small arthropod around a half inch wide. A similar type of burrow is sometimes found associated with body fossils belonging to a group of crustaceans called phylocarids. This phylocarid fossil is called Aranosicaris and is found only at Blackberry Hill. It may be the oldest verified member of this ancient group that still swims the oceans today. On this slab we see a series of winding fossilized burrows that scientists have named Gordia. These patterns resemble traces made by worms, many species of which are known to live at this time. However, no body fossils of worms are yet known from Blackberry Hill. You may have noticed the bumpy texture on most of the surfaces. It is from the impression of a microbial mat, which is a soft blanket-like structure consisting of sand particles bound together by microorganisms called cyanobacteria. These mats probably helped preserve many of the fossils and may have provided a food source that lured some of the animals onto land. Here are trackways made by a type of arthropod. This kind of trace fossil was given the name Diplichnites which consists of two parallel rows of footprints. They may have been produced by the same kind of animal that made these trackways called protichnites, which show where the tail dragged on the sand. Because of certain key trace and body fossils discovered at Blackberry Hill, 
The world now knows the identity of what may be the first animal to emerge from the sea and walk on land. The animal reconstructed here making those iconic first footprints was named Mosinia mcnaughtoni, belonging to an extinct group of arthropods called euthecarcinoids. Euthecarcinoids are thought to have been distantly related to crustaceans and insects and may have been ancestral to centipedes and millipedes. Though the quarries of Blackberry Hill are active work sites and entirely off limits to the public, the very few privileged researchers afforded access through the years have documented truly profound glimpses of a world that vanished over 500 million years ago. Unmasking the identity of what may have been the first animal to walk on dry land could be only the beginning of the stories these rocks begrudgingly yield. Continued workings of these deposits may further reshape our understanding of this truly spectacular and long-lost vestige of life on Earth. For a closer look to the secrets of Blackberry Hill, check out the book Solving the Mystery of the First Animals on Land, The Fossils of Blackberry Hill, richly illustrated and written by Kenneth Gass.